SpongeBob's impact on popular culture is absolutely undeniable. Over the past two decades of SpongeBob's existence, our favourite yellow sea sponge has become one of the most recognisable cartoon characters in history, standing tall next to characters like Mickey Mouse, Homer Simpson and Scooby-Doo, with his face appearing on almost anything from socks to thermometers. It's safe to say that SpongeBob is a pretty popular character in a pretty popular show. With this kind of popularity, it's impossible not to be referenced within other TV shows and movies. And trust me, SpongeBob is referenced a lot. From The Simpsons to Alvin and the Chipmunks, let's have a look at some examples of SpongeBob being referenced in other TV shows and movies. The Alvin and the Chipmunks movie was a pretty big movie back in 2007. I'm pretty sure everyone who was a kid during this time watched this movie a lot. I know I certainly did. I also watched a lot of Spongebob, which means I have something in common with the Chipmunks as they seem to be huge fans of the show. There are multiple times in the movie where you can see the Chipmunks watching Spongebob. One example of this is when Dave comes home after losing his job. You can see the Chipmunks watching the Season 4 episode, Have You Seen This Snail? Uh, guys? What's this about? Obviously, Theodore's butt. We told you we colored. On my presentation boards? Rick and Morty is definitely the most popular adult cartoon on television right now, and for good reason. The cynical wit of this show appeals to a lot of people, alongside its hilarious characters and bizarre storylines. However, this entry on the list is less of a reference and more of a crossover. Have you ever wanted to see a crossover between Rick and Morty and SpongeBob SquarePants? I didn't know that I wanted to either until I saw a video by the New York Magazine featuring Rick and Morty's creators improvising an episode where Rick and Morty find themselves in Bikini Bottom. It's a very fun watch, as it even features voice acting and a bit of animation as well. I'm sorry you guys tied me up, but I was like really hoping that I could like I maybe go up. swimming because we were talking about going on like a deep sea dive up. together. I tied her up, Rick. <laughs> If there's any long-running animated show that is as popular, if not more popular than Spongebob, it's the classic Matt Groening show, The Simpsons. What's to say about The Simpsons that hasn't been said already? The show is monumentally influential within pop culture, but if you've watched The Simpsons before, which I assume you have, you'll know that the show loves to make references to other popular shows and movies. Spongebob is definitely no exception. For example, in the episode The Wife Aquatic, Marge and Lisa walk past a Spongebob statue. Ooh, an institute! Another Spongebob reference within The Simpsons comes from the Treehouse of Horror 21. If you've watched any of the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes, you'll know that the show likes to put a weird twist on basically everything, including the credits. The people who work on the show are credited with spooky names. For example, Nancy Hart Fright, James Hell Brooks, Graveyardly Smith, you get the idea. Well, they definitely continued that tradition in this episode. That's if you find Spongebob scary, which I've heard is actually a lot more common than you may think. The man who directed the episode, Bob Anderson, is credited as Spongebob Anderson Pants. The Simpsons isn't the only Matt Groening show that references our favourite Bikini Bottom resident. In the Season 6 episode of Futurama titled Yo Leela Leela, Leela somehow manages to create a hit kids show. During a conversation between Abner Double Deal and Leela, Double Deal states that Leela's show is going to be bigger than another show called SpongeBot Square Bolts. This is quite obviously a reference to SpongeBob SquarePants. Double Deal even pulls out a SpongeBot Square Bolts doll that looks just like SpongeBob but as a robot. What? My show is a hit? What are you, deaf? It's going to be bigger than SpongeBob. Square bolts. I interfere with pacemakers. Adult Swim's cult classic stop motion comedy, Robot Chicken, practically relies on pop culture references for their skits. 
They've made skits based on Super Mario, The Simpsons, and of course, SpongeBob SquarePants. This skit follows SpongeBob exposing Mr. Krabs for using crab meat in his Krabby Patties. This is funny, as Mr. Krabs using crab meat for Krabby Patties is actually a pretty well-known theory about the show that a lot of people agree with. What do you think? Does Mr. Krabs use crab meat in his Krabby Patties? Krabby Patties are made out of crab! <laughs> Everyone knows Krabby Patties are me family secret recipe, boy! Then explain this! <laughs> A very subtle reference to SpongeBob SquarePants is present within an episode of the hit animated sitcom Family Guy. The episode this reference appears in is titled Prick Up Your Ears. There's a subplot in this episode where Stewie tries to catch the Tooth Fairy. In one scene where Stewie is talking about his plans, you can see his toys. But do you notice a familiar face? Well, take a closer look and you should be able to see a slightly green coloured SpongeBob figure. All right, men, your mission tonight is to stave off the invading forces of the Tooth Fairy. SpongeBob, you watch the East. Bob's Burgers is another animated sitcom that has been going on for quite a while now. While it's not as popular as shows like SpongeBob, it's still a great show that I recommend you watch if you haven't already. Anyway, there's an incredibly subtle SpongeBob reference that many would argue isn't actually a reference. However, I'd argue otherwise. In this scene, Bob tricks Teddy into eating a sponge. After Teddy eats the sponge, he says, Don't feed a guy a sponge, Bobby. Obviously, this sounds like he's saying, don't feed a guy a Spongebob. I won't eat anything, I'm pretty discerning. Eat this. No. Oh. What was that? Don't feed a guy a sponge, Bobby. <laughs> you don't feed the last reference on this list is yet another reference from The Simpsons. The Simpsons seem to reference Spongebob a lot throughout the series, and maybe that's a subject for another video. There are a lot of iconic things about The Simpsons. Their yellow colour, Springfield, the characters. However, I don't think there's a more iconic intro to a series than the intro for The Simpsons. Any fan of this show should know the running gags within this intro, for example, the couch gag and the chalkboard gag, where Bart is writing something new at the beginning of every episode. In the episode Pray Anything, take a look at what Bart is writing on the chalkboard. It reads, Spongebob is not a contraceptive. I'll leave it up to you to figure out what that means. 